Happy Monday, everyone. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Wanted to go over my latest song. It's going to be out in stores either Friday or Monday. It just depends how quickly it gets approved. The song is called Purple Lava, and it is a acid song. For those of you who don't know what acid music was, um, there was an instrument called the Roland 303 that makes a really squelchy sound, and it was a total failure when it first came out, and then the techno guys got a hold of it, and it became what we call acid house or acid techno. This song is in that genre, and I want to go over the mix with you, and probably won't go over every element, but kind of want to show you what the mix itself sounds like, and show you my process. I'll play a bit of the song first, and then we'll go through it. idea of the song itself there um, let's go through a few of the different elements the cool thing there's a percussion loop here and this is something kind of fun I did so the percussion loop I got it all EQ'd and did all that fun stuff to it and it sounded kind of boring to me it sounded it just sounds like this by itself that's so just looping around so what I did is I put a filter on it to give it some give it some more movement. So the filter here, it's a resonant down sweep, and I tweaked everything. So every four bars, it does something random. So let's go ahead and just start it from here. So what that's doing is going through the frequency range, so it's going down, and it's got this resonance here, so it's always like accentuating whatever frequency it's at here. So every four bars it does its thing. And the other only thing I did is I added a limiter on here because when I put that filter on there, especially when I up the resonance in there, it's peaking and causing it to clip, so I just put a uh, limiter on there just so we could avoid the clipping altogether. Alright. Here's a cool little riser I came up with here. Let's go and play that. And the reason I did the riser is it makes gives the song just some more energy. So here is the riser. And what the riser does is I made an 8-bar riser and just recorded it. And this is what it sounds like. So it gives you that anticipation, the excitement that something big's about to happen. The rise, if you will. And 
then it stops. So that is kind of cool. Then I'll give you the outro riser, which is the riser at the very end of the song here. And let's see here. Okay, what I did on this riser here, it's kind of interesting, is it sounded boring on its own. So I did a fade in here that speeds up the speed up fade, which is a thing in Logic that you can do. Didn't like the way that sounded by itself, so I also automated this for pitch manipulation, a little alter boy. So if you watch, let me take this. I'm going to keep the fade in, but I'm going to turn him off. And this is what it sounds like by itself. Cool. So Sounds kind of fun by itself, but let's put this guy on here and watch what he does. So his pitch is going to go up and form at the same time. So let me show you how that sounds in the song itself. We'll just play it from the end here. Play it from bow. The other thing I was going to show you, let me go here. All right, in the mixing thing, I'll show you what we've got here. So when I do a song, usually I color things. Did a pretty good job coloring this one. That way I know what is what. And I worked um, on panning. The only advice I have is just pan it the way you think it sounds best and just experiment around with panning. Um, definitely don't put everything down the middle if you can help it because it just clogs everything up. So, you know, put the certain instruments you want in the middle, like bass and kick, um, vocals somewhat. The other ones you wouldn't want, you know, spread them out among the uh, stereo image and see where you're at on that. On the stereo bus, I did not put anything on it this time. Since I'm going to be mastering this song myself, um, I'll put the compressor on there and do all that within the mastering stages. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me an email, jason at mrkaplan.co. Check out my website or leave a comment below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks for listening and hope everybody has a great rest of the evening.